my beloved brothers and sisters, many times in life we fail to progress because we are stuck in the past. And this is not only true when it comes to our own faults and our own sins, but even with others. At times it is in the best of your interests to let go of something that looks like you cannot let it go. But in order for you to progress, you must let it go. We as Muslims are taught that you must always weigh the pros and cons and allow the lesser of the two evils if you have no third option. Remember that. And this is something very interesting because many people are bogged down in life. They simply cannot move forward. You lost your job, you were fired unceremoniously, and you want to get back at your old boss. By that occupation that you've now engaged in of getting back to your old boss, you have stopped your eyes from looking ahead at jobs that are glaring you in your face simply because you did not move on. It's okay. You're not the first person to lose your job. You're going through a tough time. Trust me, we've all been through tough times. It might last a year. It might last five years. It might last 10 years, but it will last longer if you don't progress and you don't look at the future. Shine your eyes and take a look at the glass in front of you that shows you the whole road that you don't even want to walk on. We become lazy and sad simply because We've had something traumatic that happened in our lives. My brothers, my sisters, I am here to tell you that it's not the end of the road. Look up and move forward. If, if, if at all you want to look back, it should only be to learn a lesson, but not to get stuck in it in such a way that you don't move forward. Remember this. So the Prophet wasallam, at the time of the victory of Mecca, which is a powerful example, he came into Makkah with an army of tens of thousands. And what happened? The people of Makkah who had harmed the Muslims, they had usurped their wealth, they had abused them, they had killed many of them, and so on. Here comes Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and he asks them the famous question, O oh people of Quraysh, what do you think I'm going to do to you today? Imagine someone who's harmed to that degree. I don't even want to get into it, but it's very bad. And then here comes the messenger with all the power saying, what do you think I'm going to do to you today? Imagine if a guy today from amongst us had to tell another who has killed from his family or usurped the wealth, driven them out of their homes for years on end. And he comes one day powerfully. What do you think I'm going to do to you today? They looked at him and says, you're a good man, the son of a good man. Oh, now suddenly I'm a good man. You see, all these years I was not a good man. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Al Ali al Azim. Now he's, they said, well, you know, we expect goodness. What would we expect? He says, idhabu fa antumut tulaka. No retribution today. Go, you are free. I'm going to tell you what Yusuf alayhi salam told his brothers. No retribution against you. Go, you are free. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. If the Prophet ﷺ wanted, he could have actually got every single one of them back. Every one of them. But no, there was a bigger picture. Let's move forward. Let's progress. We have an ummah to serve. We have families. We have relatives here. We have so much here. And you know what? A lot of these people are not Muslim. By us showing them the true teachings of Islam, they will enter the fold of Islam. And that's exactly what they did. Today, when people look at us, Muslims turn away from Islam because they're let down by us. May Allah not do that to us. Today, when people look at us, they are discouraged. Today, we break relations of our families, ourselves. Here is the Prophet ﷺ saying, you know what? Let's make peace. Move forward from today. Don't go back. He never ever looked back. As a result, it was considered true victory. What is the true victory? Don't look back. Look forward. There is a lot to achieve. Yes, yes, yes. You need to understand if you were bitten from one angle, you will learn a lesson and not be bitten again from the same angle again. But at the same time, you need to know, just keep moving. 